At the end of 1998, Hurricane Mitch destroyed much of Central America. And I mobilized a team of students from Brigham Young University. And in a little town called Comayagua, where there were these extremely impoverished women. We started a little microcredit program, a strategy to train them for a few weeks. And at the end, if they graduated and wanted it, we'd give them a $100 loan to start their own little business in their house. And when they graduated and we had a celebration, they were all thrilled. This was their first educational certificate. And then it came time to give the first loans. And I remember this woman named Maria. I announced her name first and she just burst into tears. And I said, why were you crying? And she said, oh, senor, I am just a poor Indian woman. I'm not worth a hundred dollars. And at that point, I got tears in my eyes and I vowed, I'm gonna keep doing this the rest of my life. Warner was one of my professors. I chose him to be my mentor and he made such an impact on my studies and my career that I completely changed my focus and um, I moved to nonprofit world. I spent the last 10 years uh, as a director of international operations for a wonderful organization called Mentors International. I think I got into this movement to help the poor when I was a teenager, growing up in a central part of a city and seeing poverty and seeing minorities discriminated against. Then I spent two and a half years in Brazil where I saw huge gaps between rich and poor. And those experiences gave me this feeling that I had a mission in life. And it wasn't just to become a professor. It wasn't just to get married and have kids and produce great citizens for our country. It was to try to take action to reduce human suffering. I know we can't solve all our problems. The US could give away all its money today and it wouldn't fix the world's problems. But if we each take action and we each reach out to others and if we learn methods or strategies or tools that build empowerment and that build self-reliance and they're sustainable, then, then I think poverty can be reduced little by little around the globe. Warner's had a tremendous influence in my life as I was uh, had an undergraduate in engineering and uh, uh, got an MBA and Warner helped change from being a technical and business focus to uh, being focused on people and, and helped me see that there was a, a greater purpose to what we were doing in our life than just, um, just trying to earn money. Even college students, even older married people, even retirees can reach out and have a little impact in the world and find some meaning in that, some joy in that, some peace in that. I certainly consider Werner a, a hero and uh, I think he has um, brought about the betterment of many people's lives and helped make this world a better place because of his actions and his teachings and his influence. And with these efforts that uh, Warner teaches and leads, people start looking, having hope, looking, uh, you know, the possibilities of having a better life.